Oh, hey, YouTubers. Didn't see you there. Welcome back to the embassy. I am your ambassador, Ambassador Al. I'm the ambassador of positive vibes, of good times, of winning, of gaming, of having some damn fun around here, right? All right, so how do we win? Uh, first off, winning beats losing. Losing beats not getting to play. If you're playing, you're already winning. How else do we win? We set achievable goals. We calibrate to the world around us, and then we exceed our goals. Uh, that's how we do it. Today's... Uh, Objective is to actually win in the more easy to understand sense or win uh, Cosmic Crucible. We're playing head fake Head fake uh, Cool, I like the rock in one of the pride Borders I recommend if you're an ally, please Show some support show some love. Why not love is love wherever you find it More power to you. if they're not hurting you and they're loving each other That's what the world's about man. It's all good. Anyway, uh, we're playing head fake. I don't know personally, but cool. Uh, we are playing. It's a 15 million punch down for me, which should be. Oh, it's easy. It's a crushing victory. But they have a high, strong team power. They uh, they don't blitz a lot, but they have a, lower, a higher, much higher player ID than me. I bet they. I bet they've got some good stuff. Let's uh, let's take a look at their their roster, right? Let's look at their defenses. What they've been doing. First off, they're masters once. So they're not doing too bad. They are rocking a 1.1 mil Infinity Watch. Okay. Rocking a 1.25, 1 quarter mil. It's unlimited with Zemo. That's going to cause some tricks for us. Got a Gamma, 1.35. We've seen bigger, but it's, it's still big, man. We got 1 million War Dogs here. We got Darkhold with Mr. Negative. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, we'll talk about that later with some, some tips why it's, why it's interesting. Rebirth. Straight Rebirth. No, Rebirth with Nova. A little more challenging than just plain old Rebirth. But let's get started. Also, pro tip, when you do your attacks, I highly recommend don't set your teams from here with this set this and choose that. And don't try to go and scroll for your teams and find your teams. I highly recommend going to your main roster page. I'll show it to you real quick. Roster page. Pull it out here. This little button up here. You can then go over to Crucible. And you can set your teams here so that you're not fiddling around, fooling around, and inadvertently picking the wrong team right in the middle of combat. I've done it on stream. If you've watched my previous YouTube videos, like and subscribe, you've seen me do it. And it caused a cascade of purge, the cascade of purge. And we don't want that. Um, so, you know, there you go. And you can sort all the way to the top, up, down. You can arrange them. I arrange my teams in order to that when I go to Crucible, I don't mess it up. Could still happen. But I don't want to re reduce my chances of it. Anyway, we're going to room six. We're going to start with Rebirth and Nova. We're going to run straight Death Seed. We, are, we, the Royal We, of course, we are a little nervous. Because we've heard 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 things. We've seen some things. I haven't fought a Nova here uh, directly myself. That's re redundant and repetitive. I'll say it again. But we're going to see how it goes. I think we're going to be fine, but we're going to be careful. Careful. So without any further ado... Let's open negotiations. Let's let her rip. Let's do this. Also, make sure you like and comment down below. Do you like the, I got a filter thing, not a green screen, a virtual green screen. And I think it makes the action, not, I'm more in the action, I'm in the fight. But if my big head's blocking stuff, if you're like, man, I like the other way, comment down below, let me know. I'm gonna start with the mags ult. Cause I like to, people are like, you gotta put the special on Peggy. I'm like, yeah, I hear ya. I'm just gonna try to beat her down anyway. I have to blind all the ones I can get blinded. So if anything does happen, I can handle it. How are we going? She's died once. She's back. Look out for the Peggy bug. Ult didn't do much to us. Yay. No one to revive. Yay. I think we're okay here. Gonna have to go put my ability block on Captain America. Not my favorite target, but I want all of the counterattacks up. So, ugh, eat it. Nebula, I'm just a uh, nebula. Nemesis. I like to hit them all with everything. Just, you know, just try to rock them, sock them robots. Just hit them until they're dead. Hit them before they hit you. We are going to clear up heal block with Psylocke. And I'm going for Nova for some reason. I should be killing Peggy. What am I doing? What am I doing? Eyes on the prize. Always kill Peggy. <laughs> okay. We're looking good. Uh, I'm worried about this one over here. Let's go to offense up. That's not great. Let's see. 
Can we get him dead? Okay, he's gonna yeah, he revives, but he doesn't have a lot of offense up, so that's nice. Oh, they're gonna die anyway. Great. Great, great, great. Die like dogs. Nemesis roast again with a special. We're almost done here. Just gotta kill Captain America twice. Nobody revive. Alright, well I guess we'll ability block, counterattack, and hope we get some regens up here. Just uh, you know. There's one. So, it may be a lot of turns, but Desi does a job. That's great. Probably 8360? Let's check our score. Drum roll, 8361. Oh man, that was terrible. No, wait. Perfectly fine. We're doing great. Doing great. All right. All right. Room five. Hey, so we were spending a lot of time, again, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ambassador Al. Uh, I am here, and so are so many of your other favorite Marvel Strike Force content creators. We're on Twitch all the time. That's usually where we record our videos. If you're watching us on YouTube, expand your horizons. Come to Twitch. Consider a Turbo membership. It's like 12 bucks a month, and you don't have to have ads for any of us. So it's great. Um, or come subscribe to us and give us money because you want us to keep doing this and not wander off to other games or get a job, you know. Anyway, room five. This is tricky. Darkhold, Mr. Negative. We looked at his kit earlier today. Uh, Mr. Negative... He's going to ult, which means he's, which, oh boy, uh, no, his special's better. But his summon, his summon when his, it'll, his summon and minion, his summon when his, pa the passive on the summon is that when the, when that guy dies, the little guy, the weird dude over there, the wolf or the dragon or whatever, when they die, they reduce 10% speed bar for your entire team. That's, and, and even, even including Apocalypse, because Apocalypse says he can't have his speed reduced and increased and messed around by, except for by slow, but speed bar, that's just like Hella. Same when summons Greg, same sort of deal. So it can be tricky there. We are not worried about it right now, but because we're going to bring Emma to the fight anyway. So we have we have more speed. We'll get our speed bar knocked down, but then we'll accumulate it faster. I think we're going to be perfectly fine. Um, of course, I think that because that's where else, why would I even plan this? But it's like Mike Tyson always says, or you say back in the day, Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Anyway, so here's our plan. Let's punch them in the mouth. Let's let it rip. Yeah, I, was, I remember I passed a, a, a church, one of those cool church signs out front, and it says, um, come, honor, faith. Come, honor, faith. And I was thought about, it. what if Mike Tyson was reading that? What would the, how horrible is that? Um, anyway. So the minion died. We lost some speed bar, but we're still rolling. I'm going to stun Heartless because Heartless's ult rips in this room. Rips in this room. And hopefully if we get this done, uh, yeah, we are going to try to ability block Morgan Le Fay. No, nah, I'm going to ability block Wong with a Mega Red. And hit everybody back with uh, Trauma Stick. At some point, we're going to try to kill Morgan Le Fay. Let's get rolling. We got control. They're missing everything. Doom's gonna go in a minute. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. Hope the ball goes well. We can do like my Tyson says. We can just come on our faith. Uh, let's see here. Come on, everybody. Come on our faith. And I should probably kill, trying to kill Doom here. I mean, I kill Heartless, but. Well, let's see. We ever get three turns. Let's see if I mess up again. Okay, that seemed pretty useful. Can we get some more turns? Yeah, get some more turns. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna basic her down to the ground. Yeah, okay. Guess I'm gonna belly block this guy. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna basic him down because just it's more damage. There, He's dead, fast turns. Don't forget, Weaver's basic is awesome. She's a full health. She hits him like four or five times, and she's got a lot of... If yours is like mine, level 95, gear tier 17, blue ISO 5, because you went for the apocalypse chase, uh, that basic could be hitting hard, yo. Okay. What's our score there? They're like their scores. I have a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet's key to good life. All right. So that was easy. Four. Kang. Bang. Why don't you guys all start cheering? 
King. I have an ISO 5 striker for raids and other attacks and, and arena, but it's pretty damn useful uh, as raider for the Kang Bang. So it's Kang Bang time. Kang Bang time. Yeah, so Mr. Negative there was interesting and could cause some problems, but I find Quicksilver there to be a much bigger pain in the butt. Or, of course, put your big boy Apocalypse there with Dark Hold. Or Dorm or Doom. Uh, there's lots of choices there. So I've, we were briefly stymied. <laughs> Stymie, get, get me a Danish. Uh, briefly stymied by the addition of Mr. Negative there, but as we went through it, we're like, it actually, it, it just doesn't matter. So we decided to just stop, stop worrying about it. And, um, yeah, we're still the first step. Pina Wakanda. Yeah, yeah. This, this Wakanda is for never. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, let's see. We're going this way. Although, he's going to get, get turn over there. I don't want that to happen. I don't want her to get turned either. Uh, let's go this way. Uh oh. Let me get turned. Oh no, what have I done? I made a horrible mistake, Michael. I made a horrible mistake. That's okay. Let's reduce the speed bar. You're not going. And you're not going to. You're just going to. You need to go ahead and die over there. Take some of these your cool effects. You spread everybody. Thanks a lot for that. And ability block. Yeah, it's not going to happen anyway. So that costs a few points because Absorb Man sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, let's see, Kang Bang. Uh, I think I, th I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get a nice Kang Bang. Let's see what do we got. 1.3 million. Oh, 968. Oh, there's 1.3 million. Okay, okay. Criticals are critical to your success. So this is fine. I lost a few points. I was messing around with trying to left side, right side, who to hit. So I lost a few points from Absorb Man getting hurt. It's okay. I know you guys like. Uh, fireworks 8366 would have been 8369 if I let if I had let him get hit by my million it, it shouldn't matter but I guess it could okay room three gamma I like gamma on defense but minor minor bigger I know gamma can still cause problems for people who don't know how to fight it I like to use new warriors this is actually punched down for my team but that red hulk is still a danger so chat is going to have to help me out so if you want to help me out twitch.tv slash ambassador al come and subscribe it's fun at least follow come on man uh i mean chat's help i'm getting the turn order and not not screwing this one up let's let it rip the big thing here was i think do not put the firestar ult uh where it hit red hulk three times that's a lot of, that's that's a, that's a lot of charges i think we have to hit we're just still doing do do this one Still gotta do her stuff. Yep. We're doing this side, not that side. Where's ult on brawn? Yep. And death bull special on brawn. We're not touching over here. Yep. Still go ahead and cloak ult. Ba bam. Uh, I think you want a basic here. <laughs> Just get her dead. Yep. Basically, she helped get her out of the darn way, hopefully. Or at least just don't need Red Hulk to do anything. Very good, very good. Apocalypse is... Uh, ar sorry. Uh, that abomination wandered off the table. Going to go ahead. We can... Two charges, We're, we can go ahead and do our alt stuff, although it doesn't hit too hard, but it seems like useful. Let's see, three charges. Yeah, I'm gonna flip these over. And we can nuke only one of them. Oh no. Do I permanently kill uh, Incredible Hulk, or do I try to try to save it for Red Hulk? So I think I'm kind of screwed. Just nuke him or what? 
Bolt Incredible Hulk. Just use the, use the powers. All right, fine. Bam. Die permanently. Okay. You kind of have to go. Can we get him dead before he ults? That's my only question. Nope. It's going to cause some damage, but not too, too bad for us. Still going to ult, I believe, because it's still going to do stuff. There we go. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <sighs> Breathe. I'm a little nervous there. I'm just like, ah. Oh. We often, yeah. I mean, we, our, prefer, our preferred, uh, Our preference there is for uh, Death Pool to nuke Red Hulk, but you know, we're very happy with the outcome. That's all that matters right now. All right, we are looking at unlimited. We usually use the the Walk and Hate counter, um, Dorm, Kestrel, Sam, Fury, and Shang Chi. But with Zemo there, we're a little nervous, and we have an Apocalypse. We happen to have a big boy Apocalypse, fully empowered, all bah. So we're gonna use him here. We think it's going to be pretty cool. And you may want to consider putting Skirmisher on your Death Pool because she's going to hit for a billion points. The Striker hit's not that critical for that fight. And Skirmisher, so you're not get stuck on the... You can get... You get clears more taunts. Clears more taunts. Interesting idea. I like the idea there. So... Uh, my my chat's always messing up my plans, and they're probably right. So my plan right now is to do this walk and hate a walk and apocalypse. Why does do this to me? Um, against this uh, unlimited with Zemo to reduce the chances of anything weird happening with Zemo doing stuff. And now it's going to see straight uh, straight unlimited uh, versus their Infinity Watch. But I'm getting some suggestions. That maybe I take Dorm off of here and put on put Dorm with uh, if I use Apocalypse Unlimited here, then what would you put in room one against Finny Watch? Dorm with what? That's true. Cause I know Dorm shuts down those assists. Dorm with what? Dorm with what against Finny Watch? Dorm plus this stuff. I was gonna put like you know I put Unlimited with Dorm in room one. But I know I, I've used Apocalypse Unlimited. Um, it is a drag. So what would you use here? Apocalypse Unlimited. Then what would you use with Dorm in, in Room 1? Prince of Peace, one of our, our favorite collaborators. It's not a bad idea. I, I, I like the idea of un using uh, Unlimited with Dorm in Room 1. That works out smashingly. Uh, but if I don't bring Dorm to this fight, what am I bringing to... Um, so Apocalypse Unlimited here, and then Dorm with what? What else you got? I'm recording, brother. Uh, <laughs> we're already in mode. I still have Undying. I still got Surfer. I still, you know, I'd have the Kestrel piece of all these pieces. This is what, this is, these are things I got left. You can get a quick look at my roster. Hey, this video is going smoothly and quickly, but we're slowing down slightly because we want to make sure that we win. It's okay to take a moment. Unlimited. No, no, no. You said you, did, you want, um, I can't put unlimited in both places. So you're saying just run the plain old walk and hate counter here. And ignore his email. But unlimited cable, let's see what you're saying there. Hold on. First off, I kill my other music I'd like to hear. How did I manage to do that? Hold on. I'm listening, but I'm not. Oh, that's why. I'm doing this plan. 
I'm just playing because I want to see how, how much Apocalypse and, and Dorn mess up this room. So I think we're going to do it. We're doing this, and then we're going to run Unlimited against, against their Infinity Watch. I think we're going to be okay. Because... I don't know, is, is it possible that Apocalypse is overkill right here? Maybe. It may be. I hear you. But we'll, we're going to do this plan, and for tomorrow, maybe we'll... we'll, we'll, we'll if we can, I, I want to bring Apocalypse to room one. But I kind of feel like room two is one where I... If there's any chance of things going bad, it'll be here. I don't I don't like doing it either. I think the, I, the thought process here... Good for you guys on, on on YouTube to watch. Thought process here is take away the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I run, I run my old normal counter here. Zemo does get ability blocks off on like Captain Sam, and then it gets really messy and weird and hard to figure out. Worst case scenario this way is we win both rooms, but maybe I lose five points of efficiency in room one. There's so many ability blocks that it just it just it even Emma's trying to speed up. It's going to be trouble. So I'm just going to do this. So I'm just, this is the, I'll take my chances with the five points here and there for efficiency, but I'm trying to take the four point off the table of doing a second attack. That's, that's the idea. And hopefully I'm right. It, we had so much to do, but no further, no further ado. Let's open negotiations. Let's let it rip. Let's go to the table and work it out. So it's fun. I think it's also the best part of being on Twitch. Everybody is to see the, the thought process and watch the things kind of come together. It's like that's the reason you watch cooking shows because you don't get to eat the food. You go to you watch cooking shows because you want to see how they decide to use a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And how do you choose? Why choose this? Why choose that? This, the process. It's like wa watching the sausage being made. And as someone who's a quarter Polish and a quarter Italian, I, sausage is an important part of our lives. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I normally do. I do the... I do Kestrel special because I want her to have immunity and I want to knock some stuff off these people. And Zemo's already dead, so that's nice. Okay, I don't feel like to do the basic there. I do the special because I don't want Z I want Kestrel to have no chance of getting anything debuffed on her. So I don't know. I'm hitting the Apocalypse ult because I can first turn its smosh. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Gambit. I'm gonna get rid of Rogue. Like I get rid of Gambit. He's so damn annoying. Bye. Go away. And don't come back. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And also, uh, Rogue likes to target Dorm sometimes. It's kind of fun. She's going to get stunned. We're ignoring Dazzler. I know. She'll do some stuff. Let me try your stuff. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and try to kill Rogue. It's high speed bar on Crucible, which usually ends up being uh, being Fury getting killed all the time. But timing is different with this way. That's when you have Emma on the team, then he goes, but it doesn't matter. Captain Sam finally gets to go and take his ult. Hooray! Let's go here, because she's going to hit her and bounce anyway. She's at one health, so what's the point? Hit there, and hit there. You dead, and you dead, and I guess I'll go here. Uh, ping, and you dead. And you dead. Who next? Blank you, blank you, blank you. You're cool. Blank you. I'm out. <laughs> so yes, Rogue will always target the one with the highest speed bar. Not the highest speed, highest speed bar amount there, but yeah, we out. All right, let's see here. Uh, how's our score looking? How are we doing that one? That's that's HSC three. That's my score. Got my scores down. I forgot. It's, I'm like a chess player writing down the moves. Yeah, that was nice too. All my scores have been within 83, 63, 62, uh, 66. I was 66. That we missed that one. Yeah, well, we're in 83, 60s. We're doing great. Room one. Let's finish this. Um, uh, it's an old, it's an old joke that I, I enjoy anyway. Not everyone else does, but I, I, I always do. Um, I, actually, I wonder if I, I thought I'd bring Surfer because Surfer would, would uh, get pull through. No, I, 
bring off their immunity by the second arc. All right, let's do this. Um, here's an old joke. Did you know that Mortal Kombat, the, the theme music for Mortal Kombat, is actually based on uh, Scandinavian religious music? Yeah, no, it's true. It's totally true. It's based on a finish him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where's my man Reeves? My man from Swomi. Get my finish humor. Let's see, it's a finish him. It's a... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Finish they slash them. Very nice. That's, oh, that's, my, that's my other joke, Duartic, for, for June, for your non binary fans. Um, was it, uh, how do a non binary samurai go for the kill? They slash them. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm full of uh, dad joke, rad jokes today. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, yeah, I know we like to go after. Um, I'm a control over there, and then go. Then we're coming back to our, our five level beatdown. All right, let's see, which we really, really weren't doing much of. That's like the trauma of ability block. It's just Gamora, hang in the corner. Let's see how this goes. Uh... Oh, is my chat laughing with me or laughing at me? You just never know. I don't know if it's the... I like the finish him is one of my favorite ones, but you know, uh, they slash them is also really good, really good. Um, you know. Feel free to use these. Let's see. They're laughing with me, not at me. It's good, it's good, it's good. All right, so let's see here. Um, yeah, hit everybody? That's a good idea. So I think he plays with full deck, but I, th I think he's actually playing with tarot cards and death for everyone. All right, that's fine. Get you out of here. Get, get, just, uh, you're out of here. She fell down, go boom. She fell down, go boom. Right? Now, death, you know, if you're actually in tarot cards, you know, death, it's, it's really only about, this means change, it's transition, more than actually predictions of me actually dying. It's not, it's not a bad card to get. It's, it could be like time for a career change or changing houses or moving towns. It's not necessarily actually like physical, like life to death. I feel the need to explain for all of my, uh, my tarot card experts in, who are watching me on YouTube who are like, oh, that's not how it works, bro. I know, I know, I know. It's a renewal, it's a cycle, it's a shifting around, you know. Death, rebirth, not the rebirth team. Uh, but it creates a way for new life. You can't have new life without getting rid of the old life. That's how that works. Unless you've got multiple personality disorder, you can have two lives at the same time. Um, oh God, mother, what have you done? Oh, it's, 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 it's Norman Bates psycho jokes. All right, we have them all in here, guys. You never know what's coming, you never know. Uh, join us on Twitch, like and subscribe and keep kicking ass <laughs> stay winning where's my buddy stay winning it's my friends here so how do we do that was a drag but i don't know how was the score let's see how the score was on that one so 83 53 yeah it's a drag score wise but that was a sacrifice we made we could have got eight points higher if we but, we, but then we would have been, been bringing the possibility of lost onto the table um, another room so the review Desi crushed it with Nova, didn't matter. Uh, Mr. Negative, an interesting idea, not successful. Uh, Tangle Web Doom with whatever else you got to do here, it's great. Just make sure that you've got Skirmisher and Speed and Doom takes Weaver for the ride because her three extra turns is great. These little tips, little tips matter. Uh, Kang Bang, I messed around a little bit, got my Absorb Man, he absorbs some damage. Um, so, but we got the Kang Bang. That's where Kang gets them all. One shot. Uh, New Warriors versus Gamma. It wasn't a giant Gamma, but still, we did fine there. Consider Death Pool as a skirmisher, so we get that taunt off there, so we get, get a chance to go nuke Red Hulk. We can nuke Red Hulk, nuke the one that we want to nuke. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, overkill is the best kill. We want to make sure that Zemo didn't do anything to us, so we took the walking hate, walk hate counter and added Apocalypse. Okay. And Unlimited versus Infinity Watch. Yeah, it takes a lot of turns. Yeah, it takes a lot of turns. But 
it wins. So based on your setup, based on what you got to do, 50,168 on Masters 1, that's typically a winning score. Uh, what do they have to face? They have to face this madness. They had to face my Gamma with Quicksilver. I have Infinity Watch. I've got this Young Avengers, Eternals, Nova combo that I don't know if it's all that great, but it may confuse the crap out of them, and that's important to me. Uh, four <laughs> War Dogs and the alignment matters, keeping this away from that and this away from that. The setup, it all matters. Uh, I run straight Darkhold right now. I was doing Darkhold with Quicksilver, but I'm just mixing it up, putting Quicksilver at the places. And I run Rebirth with Hulk, just hoping that the Taunters over here keeps Peggy alive to do her stuff and just annoys the crap out of people. So most of my defenses are built around confusion and annoyance, <laughs> much like in real life. So um, should be fine. I think, was it a walk in the park? My chat says it kind of was, but why was it a walk in the park? Because we planned. There's the whole, you know, no one plans to fail, they fail to plan. Well, yeah. So make a plan, get a spreadsheet, a piece of paper, pencil, crayon, something. Make a plan before you get started. Set your teams up correctly in your roster page, line it up, take a deep breath and go. You got a full 24 hour cycle. So why are you rushing anything? You don't need to rush into anything. So make it work. So we will check it out tomorrow. See if you want, I, have a good, I, have, I feel good about our chances. But in the meantime, for now, YouTubers, the MC doors are coming to a close. They're still open on Twitch, though. They're coming to a close on YouTube. Make sure that you negotiate with yourself and others in good faith. Make sure that you spread love, be love, be change in the world. Remember that the world, while it may, a lot of things may seem mandatory, almost everything is actually negotiable. So get in there, argue for what you want to do, make the change, be the change, make a better world. That's all I can do. That's all we got. In the meantime, peace, love, and everything else to you. Have fun out there. We'll see you all next time. Have fun, guys. Make sure. Have fun. Stay winning. Same thing. Bye.